anemia in cancer patients uh, uh, who receive chemotherapy is really the focus uh, of uh, the work in the past few years. Uh, we have had some negative data in uh, management of patients that are not receiving chemotherapy, and we don't really have specific guidelines in that setting, except, of course, that as for any anemic patients, you have to rule out iron deficiency, vitamin deficiency, and uh, other reasons for anemia, like simply thinking that these patients might be bleeding. As far as patients receiving chemotherapy, we do have data that show that uh, ESAs uh, are safe. They can be used according to guidelines, according to regulatory authorities also. And uh, the most interesting news in the past few years has been that iron plays a major role in enhancing the activity of ESAs. And possibly, we have some interesting data recently published in the Council of Oncology showing that um, iron just by itself might be uh, a good way to go in quite a few patients. Which ones exactly, we don't know yet. ESAs, uh, the question that has been asked in the past years has always been because of old data that showed that there could be a negative influence on either tumor progression or patient survival, whether those data are really true or not. Uh, the meta-analysis has shown that in patients receiving chemotherapy, there is no issue. Uh, furthermore, recent data have shown that actually there is no so-called negative signal. Uh, this is in the setting of breast cancer. Uh, the German group has uh, done several studies. The latest study was uh, actually presented at the uh, San Antonio breast meeting just a few days ago. And um, uh, Professor Merbus showed the results uh, of patients randomized to receive resuproitin or not receive resuproitin. And the curves are one on top of each other. There's absolutely no negative signal, none whatsoever. And interestingly, last year here at the ASH meeting, there was a very nice presentation by uh, Professor de la Rue from France with the French lymphoma study, which is absolutely a curative setting. And in that setting, actually, there was a trend towards an improvement in results in patients receiving ESAs. So I think that we have to revise now the position and go back to authorities and maybe get the labels to be changed again, uh, because the anxiety of a few years ago, I think, is not any more justified. Blood transfusions are an interesting approach. However, they have not been submitted to the same very careful scrutiny as ESAs or iron. Um, actually, here at ASH, there was a very nice educational session yesterday uh, looking at issues in blood transfusions. And the main issue is that quite a lot of blood that is transfused is inefficient. It's old blood, which is not transporting oxygen. And actually, there has been now a correlation shown between the use of old blood an increased risk of infections in patients. There are also analyses that have shown that transfused patients might be worse. And interestingly enough, in the setting of uh, patients with cancer specifically, there was the publication last year of a study in head and neck cancer patients that showed that transfused patients had a worse survival. Exactly the same data that was shown in head and neck cancer patients when they received an ESA which was driving the hemoglobin values to 14 or 15. And this was what they also did with the blood. So I think the question of safety of blood is open and needs better scrutiny. Yeah, thank you for asking a question about tumor progression. Actually, I was one of the authors of a paper that appeared in the British Journal of Cancer earlier this year. Uh, looking at all the data available about uh, tumor progression. And basically our reading is that uh, most of those data are really related to the use of inadequate antibodies, which we're looking at receptors that actually are not EPO receptors. And uh, the uh, reading of, of the literature uh, shows that uh, there is really nothing significant. We cannot find uh, any uh, consistent trend in tumor progression, neither in the preclinical models nor in the clinical data. The clinical data just show that there's no problem in patients receiving chemotherapy.